so in today's video we'll be discussing about a very important concept again it is a type of a ram uh, in the previous we have uh, in the previous video we have discussed about a dram so in this video we'll be discussing about a uh, uh, dram in the previous video we have discussed about sram right sram is nothing but a static ram so which will be realized by making use of a six flip flops so now we'll be discussing about a dram which is uh, which is also called as a dynamic ram stores the data in the form of charges so whenever we are talking about the charges of course we'll be using the capacitor here so i'll just show the realization of a dram in the next slide okay so the dram stores the uh, data in the form of the charges they are made up of again the mos transistor gates advantages is it is high density and the low cost compared to sram it is a static ram disadvantages since the information is stored as a charge it gets leaked off with the time and to prevent this they need to get refreshed periodically so as in the first line they are telling that the data is stored in the form of a charges okay the charges uh, the charges may get leaked off or it get discharged uh, as the time elapses so therefore it has to be refreshed periodically so therefore this is one of the major disadvantage with respect to the dram so the special circuits are required called the dram controllers are used for refreshing operation for refreshing this uh, capacitors uh, special circuits are required which is also called as a dram controllers so the refresh operation is done periodically in milliseconds interval so as um, as we have discussed in the previous slide so the dynamic ram is made up of a single transistor uh, that is a mosfet and again uh, we are using one more uh, component here which is called as a capacitor which will be uh, used to store the charges so the information is stored in the form of a charges so the charges will be stored in this capacitor and after some time the charges may get discharged right so therefore we need to refresh this continuously that is uh, for every milliseconds it has to be refreshed in order to refresh this we require a special circuitry called as a controllers so now we will just discuss the comparison between the sram and the dram so it is made up of six transistors and the dram is made up of a single transistor and a capacitor it does not require a refreshing but here the refreshing circuits is very much essential uh, and again the, it is low capacity right and it, this is a high capacity and more expensive sram is more expensive because obviously we are making use of a six cmos transistors but here we are using a single uh, mosfet transistor so therefore it is less expensive and fast in operation so sram works faster when compared to the dram